Hello and welcome to the Intersolar Europe Trade Show for 2015. My name's Jonathan Gifford. I'm the editor-in-chief of PV Magazine Global Edition. Well, it's been a busy three days, but things are starting to quieten down a little bit here, a little bit less traffic along the trade show floor. But the event has really brought together solar professionals from right around the world and also right across the supply chain. So let's look back now across the three days to some of the conversations that were being had on the trade room floor. I think looking to the European market, I think let's talk about Germany, let's talk about UK, and they have a couple of smaller markets, but these are the two main markets. And, and, and Germany is still very pretty much down, uh, even getting to a level below the 100 megawatt per year. Probably this year 1.2, 1.5 uh, gigawatt. It is what it is. It's difficult to change the situation now. UK is, 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 is still strong this, uh, this year, although maybe Q2 a little bit behind expectation, but projects under the new rock scheme, uh, five megawatt projects that have been developed, they will be built, and, and, and we see talking with uh, customers and with developers, it's going to happen in Q3 and Q4. So we'll see probably at the end of the day again in the UK a market somewhere between 2.5 and 2.8 gigawatt, maybe even around to 3 gigawatt, depending on. Um, so, yeah, but if you look down further down the road, I think uh, 2016 might be a similar picture, uh, although UK rocks might be again down. Uh, of course, prices of components and systems are going down also down, so that's equivalent to that one. Uh, and, and Germany probably also might be the same like this year. But what we believe is as of 2017, and now moving forward, we will be seeing a very strong growing market again in Europe. And that has to do with the fact that we believe that the battery storage is getting done available to a price level which makes the business case worse to do it. And, and, and what I mean with that one is, is to get in price ranges from around 6, 7 euro cent per kilowatt hour. So if you take now a solar, city, a solar system on your roof, uh, you have to count with about 10 euros cent per kilowatt hour over 25 years that you pay for the electricity, the solar electricity. And if you add on 6, 7 euros cent per kilowatt hour for the battery, you're at 17 euros cent. So that's still a better deal than getting electricity from the grid. And that is what will be driving uh, the, the solar business uh, on the roof uh, in Europe again. Atsuhiko Hirano, um, the CEO of Solar Frontier, Japanese CIS producer, a thin film producer. Um, welcome to Munich. Um, can I just say, uh, first of all, what, what, what is the importance of Europe for Solar Frontier? Europe remains as one of our key market and it is the most sophisticated market and uh, requires us to work together with the leading companies in the industry to come up with the uh, integrated uh, solution of, uh, uh, to the customers. So it's not simply a module uh, provider, but it's uh, with the uh, integrated system and uh, which provides the solution, uh, energy solution to the customer. So that's actually providing um, power electronics, providing uh, engineering support, the, these kind of services. Indeed. As you can see, we have now a battery system and we have an energy management system. And also you can see that it's a kit sales that we are doing. They pr provide a very comprehensive and simple solution to the customer so that you don't have to go to the, through the hassle of designing uh, for individual cases. So I think we have a very good solution now to offer to the customers. Well, the utility scale market in places like Germany is very depressed here in Germany. Um, Solar Frontier has a pipeline of some 100 megawatts um, in the UK, though. Um, how has that market worked out for you? Um, in Europe, it has always been the case that uh, it's not the one single country, but the, uh, as the region makes it the uh, interesting uh, benefit to our company. And uh, as the German market has uh, uh, decreased, uh, we are seeing this uh, huge growth in a uh, market like UK and also there's a, a continuing growth in the residential sector in the Netherlands. So all together uh, as a continent uh, or the region as the uh, EU, it provides a really attractive opportunity to us and the UK opportunity is a good interesting opportunity that we are, it's the first BOT type built on transfer type of project or business that we're launching in the Europe and uh, hopefully by 2016 we can complete the entire 100 megawatt, which provides us with a good knowledge and also allows us to work together with the leading companies in the region, together with the uh, 
financial institutions, which will give us a very strong um, team to work not only for this UK project, for, but for the future projects as well. I, I must say I was somewhat surprised um, that, that the Chinese manufacturers are still remaining to be very engaged in Europe. Um, as an Asian manufacturer, of course not Chinese, um, but as an Asian manufacturer, why is it that you think Europe remains so important for global, the major module suppliers? Right. I don't think I'm in position to quote the other companies' uh, strategy, but for us, uh, we've been saying that energy is our core business. And as I mentioned to you at the, at the beginning, we are committed to become the solution provider in the energy sector through the, our solar, power, solar technology. And uh, in Europe, uh, especially in Germany, it's now the uh, post-FIT period, which the people are now seeking for s different uh, value from what it was in the past under the FIT period. And in the self-consumption model, there are many, many other new opportunities that we can provide as a solution provider. And uh, we, we are differentiating ourselves uh, from the other module manufacturers that we are going further into the downstream part of the business in providing solution, not only the module itself.